guys, Fabian Ratzleck here. Today I want to show you some killer sounding IRs from Forward Audio. So um, what I'm basically gonna show you is um, there are free packs, uh, two free packs available if you register on their site. And uh, also they have some really great sounding um, Marshall Vintage 30 IRs and Mesa Boogie Caps. I'm also going to show you, but um, this time I will focus more on the free ones and um, I will show you some of their mixed ready ones and uh, also show you maybe some of their closed mic stuff and the room mics and then you can mix them together, combine them to create your own killer sounding rig when recording or playing live. -y. Um, so without further ado, let's get started and let's see uh, what we can expect, what it sounds like. All right, so let's start with the, with the IRs. I just imported the uh, Forward Audio Modern Rock and the Post Grunge folder um, in my IR loader, which in this case is the Cabinetron software. IR loader. You can also use the one from Forward Audio, which is really nice, but I haven't checked out. I just saw some uh, reviews and videos about it, but I think I'm going to buy this soon. But at first, I'm also very happy with the uh, Cabinetron. So you can use any IR loader you like, actually. So let's start with the modern rock folder and just open it up. And then I'm using the 40 eight kilohertz ones. And let's start with the first one, which is called Addictive Solid Mono. So let's bring that up. And let's hear how this sounds. I'm using mainly a rock tone. <laughs> I like the balanced, the balanced one. It sounds really balanced, not too much highs, not too much lows, not some quirky sounding mids. Um, I love it. Check out some other ones. This was the solid one. How the spark one sounds. Basically, let's do something. Let's compare them both because we have the options to load some more IRs in this folder. So let's get the solid here in the first place and the spark one in the second place. So I'm going to mute. I'm going to play um, at first the solid mono. <laughs> Yes, the Spark one adds, like the name says, at least for me, it adds some nice really sparkle, which is killer for all you guys when you mix, then you need some high-end sparkle, there you go. All right, so far so good, sounds really nice. Let's try the tube, tube one, put it inside here and let's hear how this sounds. <laughs> Yes, really cool. I think it adds some even more sparkle, some tube, tube, uh, maybe some uh, some uh, power amp tube saturation to it, which basically means uh, the power amp of an amp added. So it sounds a little bit more in the lows and also some more in the highs. Let's compare this uh, one to the first we heard. But really nice. Um, I can't say uh, this one is better or worse. It's just a, a different use case, I think. Um, but all of them, from this perspective, sound really even. 
And that's the main thing I like really much about it. So let's check another one. Let's check out, maybe just go random. Sweet child of a gun. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try another one. Let's try tool pot. This one is a little bit more spiky. Um, but also for this kind of music, maybe if you have a low tuned guitar, this might really sound killer. Uh, let's try another one. Let's try I am the fret man. So this is the fret technique uh, I told you about. It's nice. So let's uh, some random spoon garden. <laughs> Definitely sounds a little bit more warmer in the mix. When you compare maybe to the tool pot, let's do this. This is the tool pot. And let's do the spoon garden. Yes, really cool. So let's do another one. Let's do British Convolution Solid. Enjoying this a lot. Forward Audio RS um, are categorized in three different categories. There is the complete impulse response pack, there's the mastered impulse response pack, and there's the essential impulse response pack. So at first, let's start with the essential um, impulse response pack, um, which is the most affordable one. Um, for most people, I think it's, um, it's everything you need if you want a mixed ready tone. Um, I'm going to tell you what's inside these packages. So with the Essential Impulse Response Pack, you get a handful of mixed ready IRs. You get um, um, the mixes exclusively on solid state IRs because they basically have some different formats. They have uh, mixed ready ones with um, solid state and the tube and spark. So these are the options and um, they create something really special in the mix. So that's not included in the um, essential one. And the essential one is uh, just a handful of uh, mixed ready IRs focused on the solid state IRs, um, no spark, tube variations, um, great starting point for newcomers. Um, and if you want just straightforward, I just want to put my IR on and have fun and don't worry about anything. So this might be the um, right pack for you. Um, let's get over to the Mastered Impulse Response Pack. So these are 30 to 50 mixed ready super blends, selected Fredman IRs. Fredman IRs, not, <laughs> uh, not Friedman, but Fredman is a special miking technique um, used for various styles and um, especially great for some higher gain tones. And also if you um, double tracks, 
Um, it's a very useful and unique tone you can get out of it. Um, great workflow to use. Um, perfect for quick finding and um, for focusing on sound and performance. So if that's all not enough and you really want to go in big details, you need the compl complete impulse response pack. So there you get maybe around 200 to uh, 350 unique IRs with different microphones, all the essential grade like the SM57, some ribbon mics, really top-notch stuff. Um, includes also raw closed mix, mixed ready, mastered Redmond IRs and also room IRs. Um, really nice selections of uh, different, different positioning of the microphone and uh, there you can really shape your sound to the needs you really want. If you want to experiment with it or really um, just need a tiny bit of this and a tiny bit of that and you're really um, looking for your customized tone, this might be the best one for you and you have all the options and um, enjoy the tones. So basically that's what's inside of the forward audio um, inputs responses. Uh, for me personally, I really, really, really enjoy them a lot more than any other pack I used um, before because I think um, the unique selling point here is uh, not only the, the great uh, uh, stuff you get with the, the complete impulse response pack or all the three different ones, but also for me they sound the most balanced because you, don't, you need to know that when you um, get IRs, you always um, the one who creates the IRs has a kind of uh, expectations of the tones. It's not just miking in a cabinet and then you get the same IR. Every millimeter counts and that's really important with uh, creating IRs. And I think these guys from uh, Forward Audio, they really did a top-notch job. All right, guys, there you have it. Forward Audio IRs, please make sure to check them out. So here's the website. As you can see, there are lots of options you can choose from. And uh, these are the free IRs, by the way. I use the Rock IRs um, in this demo video. They are all free. And uh, then if you want to expand a little bit more, um, please do check out their other packages because um, they are very well produced and sound amazing. And have fun, enjoy playing guitar, enjoy great guitar tones. And don't forget that an IR is basically 50% of your guitar tone, whatever you use. If you use a plug-in, if you use a tube amp, whatever, you will see these IRs will open new doors when mixing and having fun with the guitar. See you next time. Please subscribe to the channel and cheers.